This reading is for my Scorpios. Okay? I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. Somebody sees somebody as like more than just a lover. They see somebody as like, um, you know, a friend, a family member, like lovers and friends. Like somebody doesn't just see someone as a lover. They see someone as, you know, they could be feeling like, um, you know, you're closer to them more than a family. You're more dependable to them than a family. Like you're the closest thing that they have. Um, they can rely on you more than a family. Somebody consider somebody more than a lover. Holy Spirit, what's this energy I'm picking up on? Thank you. We have reconciliation coming back together. Yeah, we have past life. Well, I can't make this up. <laughs> past life. This is somebody who you share a past life connection with. And we have take a risk. So so I see you could be taking a, a leap of faith. Maybe you um, freed yourself from this person. Um, starting something new. Um, <clears throat> or this is, could be someone who wants to take a risk, you know, with this connection. You know, maybe before in the past they didn't want to take a risk with the compromise under the bottle. Maybe somebody didn't want to compromise they could have been constantly causing like friction or confirmation or making things hard. But somebody could be, yeah, it's like somebody also feels like now that you have freed yourself, like you keep getting better. You had dramas and chocos and single. So you could have definitely decided to uh, dramas and chocos, envy, jealousy, retaliation. So since you freed yourself, you could be feeling like, you know, you have less trauma in your life. Um, you have more peace in your life. Um, you don't have to deal with this, um, you know, this, uh, this dark energy, you know, somebody who could have, you could have felt like this person was evil or, you know, um, I'm getting like death with all of this black. Okay. <clears throat> somebody, somebody is just like, yeah, this is somebody who, yeah, shadow work in long term. I'm telling you. In order for somebody to have this long-term connection with you, they must do the shadow work. So with this card, what I said with all of this black could be death. It could be like a death and rebirth. Something could be changing in, in this person. Maybe this person is now ready to take a, um, a leap of faith. I feel like you freed yourself from this energy. You know, you could be going out more or you could just be spending a lot of time by yourself. You know, feeling yourself, feeling good. <laughs> and it ain't nothing wrong with that. You could be doing things that, you know, Maybe you feel like life has been lighter without this energy. But this is someone who doesn't just want to let someone go. Somebody feels like somebody is just more than just a lover. They see somebody as like their best friend, you know, um, a family member. Like they feel tight. Like they feel tight with you. <clears throat> What's the take a risk, Holy Spirit? Take a risk. I feel like whoever this energy is, Somebody's spying. Somebody's watching you closely. This person could be watching you. Well, this take a risk. They could be watching to see if you party and hanging out, what you doing with your life. Because it looks like this woman is feeling herself, okay? And she should feel herself. Somebody also sees you as like a, a woman or a male. Take it how it resonates. You know, there's no gender in tarot. But somebody could be seeing you as someone who, with a lot of class, like somebody, somebody respects like the way how you move. It makes you more romantically attracted to this energy. Somebody likes the way how you do things, the way how you move. Somebody knows that you have self-respect as well, and it turns this person on. What's the take a risk? This person watches you closely. This could be in the physical, or this could be, um, you know, energetically. We can take take a risk, Holy Spirit. Take a risk. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, dreaming. Dreams, fantasies, high hopes. So you could be taking a risk and going after your dreams at this time. Okay. But whoever this person is, also, um, 
this person that wants to take a leap of faith with you is giving me like the food card with, with this dream in. And it's like whoever this person, you could be seeing this person in your dreams or you could be popping up in this person's dreams. But this person uh, spends a lot of time fantasizing about you, how life will be with you. Somebody also want to tell you how much you mean to them. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it would make this person day just to, you know, be around you or hear from you. This person spends a lot of time fantasizing about you. How would life will be if they take this leap of faith? So what's the past life, Holy Spirit? Past life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, I can't make it up. <laughs> Union. Yep. Somebody wants to live with you. It says proposal, living together, and marriage. Somebody thinks about how life will be with you in the long term. Mm-hmm. Somebody really wants to be with you. Yeah, love. This person loves you a lot. This person could have been, you know, had um, trust issues um, prior to you. Maybe this person dealt with some type of insecurities. Um, you know, maybe this person had a hard time trusting people. Or maybe this person could have possibly got their heart broken prior to you before they before they met you or felt this strong connection to you. And it could have brought out some type of insecurities that made this person, you know, seem dark around you or made you seem like it's something about this person's energy is, is, is dark, like you don't trust it. This could have been also the reason why this person had many options. Maybe this person liked to, you know, keep the options open with someone who was afraid of commitment because of, um, you know, maybe because they got children and, and, and trust issues. Maybe because something could be in regards to, uh, you know, who's the parent of their children. Maybe they caused them to have some type of pain or heartache and it made it hard for them to trust someone. What's the reconciliation, Holy Spirit? Reconciliation. Wow. <laughs> reconciliation is clarified will rewrite love story, redefine in the relationship. This person wants to rewrite this love story with you. They want to reconcile. Um, somebody's like, please tell me, tell me what I have to do. And we also have hot mess. <laughs> so it's easy. Hot mess. Okay, Choco's energy. Um, whoever this person is, the, their life is a hot mess right now. This person could be eating a lot or, you know, not taking care of themselves. Because look at this person. Like, they like they, they, they ain't cleaning up their house or their room, food everywhere. They don't know whether they're going to come in. Everything is scattered. Something about their life is not in order. It's not neat. Something about their mind is scattered. Because, you know, when you have all of this stuff going on in your house or your room and you're not cleaning up, you know, that does something to the mind. You know, um, I know for me, for example, like, you know, the moment I get out of my bed, I have to, you know, immediately, you know, clean up my bed. I have to immediately start dusting. I have to turn, you know, open all my blinds in my house. Like, you know, you know, go around my house just to make sure, you know, everything is just like the way how I want it. Because it just, it does something to my mental, you know? So I'm just using me as an example. It just does something to my mental. So somebody just living like this in this type of mess, I can imagine where their mind is, you know? It's too much going on around this. And we have, yep, divine counterpart. Somebody feels like you're the divine counterpart. Okay, somebody feels like you're their person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, growth. This person wants to grow with you. They want this connection to go to the next level. This could be a soulmate of yours. Okay. Um, divine counterpart, twin flame. This could be a twin flame. Take it how it resonates. But somebody is now ready to compromise. Okay. Um, toxic energy and opposites attract. Okay. You could have felt like this person could not be your person because they were just too toxic. Maybe you someone who's more of the light. And your person could be more someone um, who, who just, you know, has like this, you know, could be more dark, okay? So you could be the light, you could be the dark, but something about you guys are opposite. But for some reason, you guys are very, um, something attracted you guys to one another. But you guys are both different, but your counterparts, okay? Um, whatever it was, it caused an imbalance in this connection, okay? I feel like someone could have definitely been rejecting you. Um, because of whatever the darkness that they had on them, 
I always let you know, tell you guys, you know, it, it don't be the people that be dark. It don't be the people that's evil. It be the spirit, whatever the spirit that's residing in them. That, you know, that's what makes them dark. Okay, but Spirit is saying in the near future, there's going to be some type of communication with you and this person. Should I stay? So there's, there's a decision that's going to be need to be made. Okay, because something is coming in. Somebody is also freaking out. I'm just hearing it. Somebody could be freaking out. Okay, somebody doesn't want to miss out on someone like you. Mm -hmm. But Spirit is saying in order for this person to have a long-term connection with you, they must do the shadow work. Okay. This person is too much in their head focusing on, you know, you living your life, um, what you got going on, who you with, what you what you doing, you know, spirit is like, this person must do the shadow work in order, it's like this person must be, must be cleared by the divine before they can even come next to you because of your energy, it's just so, it's so trustworthy, it's so pure, because I'm seeing with the blue, if you look at this past life, it's like a lot of blue, um, pink, yeah, a lot of blue and pink and yellow. Because the yellow, it gives me, like, happiness. The blue, it gives me, like, trustworthy peace. Um, The purpose, it, the purple, it gave me... I said purpose. I went to say purple, but it spirit said purpose. So... You guys, you guys are supposed to be, it's giving me like a ten of pentacles. You guys are supposed to be living like a luxurious, you know, glamorous lifestyle together. Whoever this person you share a, a connection with from your past, this is something that you guys are supposed to live a certain lifestyle. Um, um, this person can be feeling like you're living this lifestyle already or you are, you are abundant, you're peaceful. Um, but... This person could have this life with you, Spirit is saying, but they must do the shadow work. They can't they can't come and sit next to you if they haven't done any work because you have done the work. Also, with this purple is giving me that um somebody could be seeing you as very mysterious as well. They probably, you know, feel like, you know, they see you as mysterious. You know, they can't figure you out. You know, they don't know what you're doing. It's like it's also giving me like very adventurous like somebody is like i wonder what you're up to or i wonder what this person's doing like they just feel like your life is more exciting than theirs yeah but there's a lot of purple and pink here um i just feel like there's a lot of love and there, this this connection it, it has a, it's a it has a higher meaning it has a higher call and there's a purpose on this connection um this is supposed to be, you know, that's supposed to lead to, like, a marriage, a very beautiful, um, luxurious life I'm hearing, like, something that's supposed to grow and take off, two people who are supposed to work together, you know, but there has to be some type of compromise, um, this person with this hot mess, they could be all in their head, spirit want them to get out their head and do the work, you know, it's like, the more they in their head worried about you, you know, it's, it's, it's prolonging it, it's prolonging it, you know, but this person wants to rewrite this love story with you. What's this reconciliation, Holy Spirit? Reconciliation. 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 Wow. Reconciliation is clarified with apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. This person is going to come in and apologize for all the, you know, the drama, the chaos they caused in your life or, you know, in this connection. Um, or because someone had trust issues and they took that out on you. You know, you didn't deserve that. I don't know what they dealt with prior to you, but you didn't deserve that. Um, I'm also, like I said, with all this purple is giving me that someone is seeing you as very mysterious. Um, somebody also could now be using the intuition. Okay. Somebody could feel like you live a very private life. Um, you know, you're very um, reserved with your energy. You don't want to just allow anyone in it. So this person could be realizing how, you know, how grateful they should have been just be, by being in your energy because you're not someone who's open to just let, allow any and everybody in your energy. You know, that's all part of spiritual hygiene. So you're very protective of your energy because you know what type of energy you bring um, to anyone life who you interact with. Yeah, I can't make it up. Self-care. 
Yeah, you you just you just out here doing you. You just out here doing you. <clears throat> and if somebody is like going haywire trying to figure out what's up with you. <laughs> yeah, but okay, reconciliation was clarified with apology. So someone is about to come in and apologize and this flew right out. <laughs> second chance. Somebody wants a second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Yep. And spirit is saying it can have a second chance, you know? Long someone does the shadow work. Because you have done so much work on yourself, Sunseeds. Okay, you have done so much work on yourself. I feel like you had to let go of this person. You had to make a decision to release this person. Because the more you, you know, uh, oh wow. The more you, you know, stay close to this energy, Spirit was saying you was enabling this person. Okay? This person wouldn't have did the work if, if you were still in the energy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you could have been a, a very big help to this person in their life. You could have helped this person, saved this person, got this person out of a lot of things. But Spirit wanted you to pull back because Spirit is saying, no, mm -mm, I don't need you to enable this person. I need this person to sit by themselves, figure out what's going on, and do the work. Period. This can definitely be someone's twin flame. And we have children. And we have abundant. And we have here and now. Your true love is already a part of your life. But some of you guys, with this abundance in children, there's a spirit baby. Um, there's definitely a spirit baby that um now this could be for someone who doesn't already have kids by this person, but there's a spirit baby that you guys are supposed to have together. For others of you guys, if you already have a baby by this your twin flame, this baby is very gifted. This baby is gonna uh, this baby is chosen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it says um, you have learned the spiritual lessons in children. Somebody could have found out about a children, a child outside of this connection. Somebody could have had a baby with a karmic, with a karmic energy that they needed to let go of. Yeah, longing. Someone is longing for you. Now that's not going to be for everybody. So just take it how it resonates. Okay. Yeah. Wait. The time is not quite right in spiritual lesson. So somebody could have, you know. Dipped out this connection and had a, a, you know, a child by someone else. Okay. With a karmic. I can't make it up. Children again. Mm-hmm. Something about you and this person. It says marriage and faith. This is a destined partnership. You guys, this is like your spirit husband or your spirit wife. Okay. You guys have a strong, powerful connection in the 5D. I feel like you guys are already together in the 5D. But this person has some type of confession or this person must confess to you about addiction of a child. Yeah, something that they did when you guys was apart. Yeah, something happened. What's the, what's the take a risk on the spirit? Confirmation. Something about, somebody could have literally had a baby with a comment by somebody who they barely even knew. Mm-hmm. Yup. Yeah. And you could have decided to pull your energy back. For others of you guys, because that's not gonna resonate for everybody. That's not okay, gonna resonate for everybody. For others of you guys, there's a spirit baby that's waiting to get here. Mm-hmm. This spirit baby could even be helping you guys with the children in abundance. That your spirit baby could be actually helping you guys. But somebody needs to do the shadow work, y'all. Yeah? What's the take a rest, Holy Spirit? And I'm hearing in the meantime, between time, you out here just focused on yourself with the self-care. Take a risk. Take a risk. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Yeah, obstacles. There's some type of obstacles that's standing in the way right now. So Spirit is saying, you know, in divine timing, something will take place. Um, the timing is not quite right right now because this person could just avoid and do the, 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 um, the shadow work. It's like this person is like scattered everywhere. Somebody is so focused on what you're doing in your life and study going within and focusing on what spirit is calling them to do. Yeah. Rejection is rejection. Active divine protection and self-care.
somebody like I want to make this last forever. Somebody is very charming. Somebody could be worried about who you're spending your time with. Um, especially if you, you know, you're giving your energy, you know, your sexual energy to anyone else. Somebody is definitely, that makes them furious. What's this patient? Yeah, patient, go slow. So I feel like you guys are going to come back into communication, but spirit is saying take it slow. Because it's, there's some work that needs to be done. Okay? Um, go slow as well. Um, make, you know, because somebody could be want to come in and also sleep with you because they want that they want your sexual energy. This is somebody that feels like if they're not sleeping with you, then you don't love them, then you don't want to be with them. This is somebody that has some type of addiction where they need to they need to release that and heal from that. That's why spirit is saying go slow with this person. If this person come back around, go slow with them. Okay, don't just give up give your body to this person because this person has a lot of work they need to do. Yes, they love you. Yes, they want to rewrite this love story. But somebody feels like if you're not giving them your body, then you don't love them. You don't care. You don't want this relationship. And that's just not how it is. You know? This is somebody who really likes to be affectionate. Okay? This is somebody who likes to be, you know, touchy-touchy close to you. What's this? Um, what's this growth, Holy Spirit? Growth. Thank you. Growth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Grow, self-care. I feel like you right now, you are growing as the individual, Sun Seas. Um, you are growing, you know, within yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You're clearing out your energy field. Um, you're going within. You know, you have... you. <laughs> this love you found for yourself is amazing. Yeah, self-care and release. It's like after you release this person, you have grown so much. Whoever this person is, also, with the patient go slow is it's like, however they they when they whenever they left you, you know that's not who you are anymore. You have grown so much since the separation or this time apart to where you have found the love for yourself that you probably never even knew exists because you went so far, so deep in death, okay, of finding yourself and this, this love that you have, you know, found out of nowhere. It's just like. But I feel like this is something you build, you worked on because this a uh, this is a dirt with plant. Like you see all the, you see it grown. It's like something you started and it just grown. And the way you love yourself is amazing. It's amazing. You know, this is something that you've been working on this time apart from this person. So when this person come back around, they will have to get to know you all over again because that's not who you are anymore. You know? Yeah, but look up to the bottom. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Someone loves your unconditional love. That's why I heard earlier. Somebody doesn't just see you as just a lover. They feel like you like a, a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, an uncle, a cousin. It's like you more than that. Like the bond go way deeper than just lovers. Yeah, protect it. You are safe and divinely guided. Leap of faith. It is safe for you to make um, the move you are considering. Play hard in intuition and addiction. Your intuition can be telling you that this person played a lot of games. This person be out here playing in a field. This person is not to be trusted. Okay? You, you need to be very protective over your energy at this time with this person. And whatever leap of faith that you're planning on doing at this time... Go after that. Spirit saying, go after that. Go after that. Okay? Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> Spirit say, go after Look at that. I cannot make it up. Oh, crack the deck on Ten of Pentacles and Empress. I'm telling you. Abundance. Somebody could be looking at it like, also, like, they wish they would have had a child by you. Or they just know that anything that you birthed is abundance. Abundance is attached to you, okay? Because I kept seeing with all of this purple, somebody feels like living, you know, living with you or being with you, they can have like this glamorous or this luxury lifestyle. And of course, I was picking that. I should have known it was you, Empress. <laughs> Somebody like, yeah. Look, look my other bit. Ace of Swords, Spirit, but that's the damn true. <laughs> 
Yeah, somebody feel like you a bomb behind Bob. Like, your Bob is dope. And he missed it. Mm-hmm. Give me more on this energy, Holy Spirit. What's the reconciliation? Four cups. This person can feel like they missed out on an opportunity or they feel like you're going to reject them. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing this green on this card with this over it. This green, you know, green can represent, um, you know, you know, freshness, health, money. This person could be real down and out with the four cups. Whoever this person is that's coming to apologize. Yeah, five of cups under the bottom. They had a lot of regret. Yeah, because the will of fortune is here. Something is changing. Yeah. And you see this phone here. Somebody is definitely watching you. And whatever they see it, they don't like. <clears throat> Give me more Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Seven of Cups. I feel like this is somebody who could be in a lot of regret about having a lot of options, putting these options before you. That could be the regret. Um, what's something about them? Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. This person feels blocked out. Maybe this person feels like you also work a lot. You focused on work. You focused on your dreams at this time. Somebody also regret making you an option. What's the seven o'clock page? Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody could have just been seeing you as someone, you know, on you know, on a, a very um, someone who they can you know sleep with or have a good time with. But if you see this black cat right here, you're very intuitive. Okay. Just because you're beautiful, because you're sexy, doesn't mean that you're just going to just be out here giving your body to anybody. So your intuition could have told you that this person um, has some type of addictions or this person likes to play games. Um, and you just wasn't having it. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands, you wasn't having it. Yeah. Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, whatever this is, Sunsteed, you're taking a, a, a leap of faith. Um, you, you know, you, you're going after something new. <clears throat> Because whoever you was dealing with, I'm getting like night. Nice. Somebody was very in and out. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Ooh. Whoever this person is, I'm hearing that they see your face everywhere. Yeah, they see your face everywhere. Everything that they do, they see your face. The uh, Queen of Wands was clarified with the Ten of Cups. It's like with everything that this person does, they, they it's like somebody feels like they're being reminded of you. Somebody literally feels like they see your face everywhere. Make sure I got my water. Okay. Yeah, somebody, you make this ten of cups. This person feels like um, you make them very happy, or this person feels like you're happy. You happy in your life. You happy in your career. Whatever you're working on. This person feels like um, you are surrounded by love. Um, this person feels like you have a, uh, you know, you just, you have it all. That's how they feel like. They feel like you have it all. To the ones, and they feel, yeah, the world part in, 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 in to the ones. This person feels stressed out, weighed out, weighed down, burdened. Yeah, but spirit, yeah. The, the temperance in three of swords, spirit is saying something is going to happen in divine timing. Okay, this person needs to heal. Okay, I feel like you had to be strong at this time and close out a cycle with this person because this person got a lot going on, Sun Seeds. Yeah, two of wands where everything's fine. I can't make it up. You had to make a decision. With this ten swords, everything fine. I feel like you made a choice. You made a choice to choose you. Even when you had ten swords in his back, when this person left you out of the cold for these options or whoever they chose all over you, delaying this connection. 
Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, the moon card. There was some type of secrets. What's the what's the secrets? The seven of cups, the moon card. Something could it also give me like illusion? What's the moon card? What was the secret? Thank you. Three of Wands. I feel like the secret was that somebody thought they was gonna go out here and have these options, have a good time, and thought they was gonna have you waiting, Empress. Oh no, 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 no. Page of Wands. Mm mm. Go have the page of wands to the star card. I gotta cover up. I gotta cover up her Nikki buddy. You are the star. You are the good news. You are the best choice. The best fit. Somebody is now seeing that high priestess, where everything is fine. I feel like something hurt it. You know. For some of you guys, you could have never even got concrete evidence, but you use your intuition. Your, your intuition is strong and powerful, and it led you to, like, you know, a place of, of free, a place of safety. Because it says protected. It says you are safe and divinely guided. And I feel like you got here from your intuition. Yeah, with the help of your spirit team. The moon to the three of wands. It's like somebody was just going to play these games and thought they was going to have you waiting. That's why Spirit is saying release and focus on you, because you're not you're not you're not waiting for anyone. Wait, wait. You don't have a star waiting. That's like a regular ass person having a celebrity. You being a celebrity and you like, damn, I really like them. I know they're a celebrity, but let me go out here and do what I want to do. That celebrity gonna be waiting when I get back. What's the on Holy Spirit? I am not playing. I am not playing the magician. Yeah, the magician to the three of swords. Yeah, this person was trying to manipulate the hell out of someone. Who <laughs> The magician. The magician. The magician. I try to manipulate the hell out of someone. The magician to the devil card. Oh hell no. Nah. Yep. They was somebody was definitely doing spell work, and I feel like this was just you know, I you know, I don't know what you know what. This could just be someone. Um, I don't want to say chatting or candles or anything. I just feel like this was words, words. Somebody was trying to like convince someone that they're the only one, or they don't have options, or no, no, there's no one else. There's no one else. This person is was a manipulator. This person is a liar. Possibly could have actually did the spell work on someone. Okay, confirmation. Capricorn, Gemini energy, Cancer, Pisces energy, Pisces energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Yeah. I mean, I, somebody was trying to have someone in illusion. They were trying to, you know, hopefully to keep someone stuck and confused so they could wait on them. Why they manipulate their way out here? Oh, no. They said, oh, no, 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 no. Let this person go and, 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 you know, you focus on you and let this person do what they got to do. What's the uh, devil? Karma. This person is getting karma for what they did, y'all. Things are being balanced out. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands, you're going to hear about this. You're going to hear about some type of karma that this person is reaping. Mm -hmm. You're going to hear about it. Yeah. Can I have a card in the Ten of Cups? Libra Energy. What's the Ten of Cups? King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups, the Lovers. See, you got a love offer that's coming in. Knight of Cups to the Lovers. Um, that's what Spirit is saying. You need to decide what you're going to do about this connection, Sunseeds, because you have a King of Pentacles that's coming in. Also, um, I feel like whoever this other person is, they feel like if they come in and bring you a love offer, that they it could put them in a king of pentacles. Because somebody feels like being attached to you is, they're going to win. They can have this abundance too. That's why they want to come in and apologize after, you know, causing some type of betrayal to you. But Spirit is saying they must do the shadow work. But this person is seeing you in this King of Pentacles energy. Um, I also feel like with the King of Pentacles to the lovers, um, there's um, 
there's a boss that's coming in. Someone who's very dependable, someone who's very family oriented, someone who's very grounded. Not that this person is coming in to help you heal with the self-care because I feel like you've already been doing that. It just gives me that somebody is coming in to, to make something like a perfect balance between your energy and theirs. Yes, I'm telling you. And they're going to love you. I'm telling you, baby, they're going to love you. <laughs> okay? But somebody also feels like, you know, they want to marry you. They want to be with you. They love you. Somebody, somebody like, I know you know, I know you're the one. I feel like some of you guys, you've been through so much with this connection. And you still, you still believe in love. You still, you still got that hope. Yeah, you still got that hope. Five of Wands and the Temperance. It's like somebody wanted to fight with an Earth Angel. You like, no, I don't want to fight. It's like somebody wants you to fight for them, run after them. How an Earth Angel gonna run after you and fight? An Earth Angel all about peace. I'm telling you, they watching you. It could be a lot of gossip and rumors, but I mean, like, come on, give me a card on the King of Pentacles. Now you got the Queen of Cups and Ace of Wands. You listen with the shrimp card. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, whoever this, whoever this, whoever this King of Pentacles, Emperor. Jeez. They're attracted to how you love yourself. Aries, Taurus energy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing spirit. It's like I'm gonna make it. I'm, I'm gonna bring in a perfect balance. Yeah, equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. Hang a man. Six of Wands. That's a yes. You and this person gonna get a lot of attention, and it's gonna cause some type of heartbreak to someone. <clears throat> It could have been a lot of rumors and gossip, you know, in regards to your love life. Maybe family was talking. People could have been talking about, like, felt relationships, how things didn't go for you. But what's coming in is, like, because Ten of Cups could be family as well, with the Page of Swords, rumors, gossip, and watching. But Spirit is like, what's coming in, it's, it's, it's going to shut it down. <laughs> it's going to shut it down. And whoever this play is that feels out in the cold, Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, that you see the truth about, who child. Spirit is like, no, no. Knight of Swords to the King of Wands, no. This person feels defeated because you are. You won't sleep with them. You won't get them your body. You won't get them your energy. Like, is you more than that? Somebody want to come, somebody want to perceive you, on, like, somebody sees you as a Queen of Wands when you are the Empress. You're every queen in the day. This is somebody who is low vibrational, who I told you earlier, who feels like if your body is not on their body, then somebody else have you. And all you out here just focusing on yourself. <laughs> oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Can I have a card in the Queen of Wands? Please and thank you. <laughs> the lovers, I'm telling you. You have a lover that's coming in. Ooh, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, spirit is saying, decide what you want to do. Because we, 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 we got somebody. <laughs> somebody answers this, but I got somebody that's coming in going to blow your mind. Yeah, the eight of swords fell out on the magician. The magician to the devil to the eight of swords. It's like somebody who's very manipulative, someone who's very dark. It's just that, like I said, you know, earlier, it's not the person, it's the spirit that's on them. This is a is a spirit, it's an entity that's on them that's making them act out in the way they do. Somebody doesn't want to, whoever is whatever entity that's on this person, that they, they want to they want you on, they want you stuck. They want you next to this person. So be careful. What the love is holy spirit. Somebody wants this light energy next to them. Spirit is like, no, let this listen. Yeah, the love is clarified with the five of swords. Somebody is going to feel hurt. They're going to feel defeated because whatever they was planning, it didn't work. I'm telling you, it didn't work. The world card to the higher friend. No. The vibe said no. They cycle. They said no. They said no. The higher friend to the world cup. Listen, the higher friend to the world ain't a cup. Yeah, they said walk away, something. Y'all. 
What came out? King of Cups came out. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Seven of Wands to the Ace of Swords. So a, a water sign could be being blocked or earth sign. Okay. A Capricorn. <clears throat> What's the Eight of Cups? I feel like whatever this situation is, you know, you're Knight of Swords. Um, you walking away. This person is about, they coming in quick. King of Wands with the Four of Swords. Somebody who want to heal something with you with the Three of Swords. Remember the saying, you know, be careful because this person is sneaky. Okay? With the Ten of Swords. Okay? Yeah. Look. King of Wands, Four of Swords, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles. There's a third party situation, Two of Swords. It's like somebody is lying. This person could even be possibly married already. Married to someone else in a whole relationship and trying to trick you. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. Six of Cups. For somebody from their past, possibly. Be careful, okay? That's how spirit is saying, go slow. Okay, this person needs to do the shadow work. Somebody just doesn't want to lose you. Okay? And they will manipulate you and just say whatever to have you waiting on them. Spirit said no. No, yeah, hang me. Hang me into the high priestess. It keeps someone stuck. It keeps someone stuck. Okay? Yeah. Look, I'm telling you. Pisces energy, double confirmation of Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. No, somebody does not want to let go of this love that you have. I'm telling you. All I kept hearing earlier, somebody sees you more than just a lover. It's like you, you, you the homie. You, 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 you got that motherly love. You got, you got that that family. Like, like you feel this person feels like you care about them. Like how a family is supposed to care about a, you know a relative. Like you, you mean so much. But is they ready? That's the thing, you know? Anything else Holy Spirit before I close this out? Ace of Cups. <laughs> Tell you. Spirit, like, I got something new. I got something better. Okay? Five of Wands to the Queen of Swords. You're going to see the truth about this person. It's a, it just it just conflict and drama. It's something dark over this person. There's some type of entity attachment to this person that needs to be released. And I always tell you, it's not the person. It's the spirit that's on them. And if this person's out here sleeping with multiple people, having all of these options, lying to all these people, hanging out with all these people, just imagine how many energies that they they attract and, and, and contract and, and interacting with. That is too much for someone like you. You too reserved over your energy. You probably don't even allow nobody around you, just but your children or or or, or, or your closest relatives, or you know, it, it, it's not it's not that many. To allow somebody who has an open door to all of these energies? Hell no. No. 4404? Spirit just said you are protected. Okay? You are safe and divinely. You are safe and divinely guided. I feel like you're taking a leap of faith on something new. Because you feel like whoever this person is with the leap of faith, play hard, and intuition, you don't trust this person. You see them as the player. And have some type of addiction. Okay? Yes, and this is possibly this is someone's twin flame, you know? But there's a soulmate that's coming in. I seen it. Yeah, soulmate. Spirits come bringing a soulmate for someone. Okay? Yeah. Four swords. Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you did too much work. Wheel of Fortune, um, Eight of Pentacles. You did too much healing on yourself. Stability, Four of Wands. Like, there's celebrations. There, there, there's stability. This home, happy home. It's so, ooh, confirmation. It's so much coming in for you. After taking this leap of faith with the fool to the shrimp, this title card, I'm telling you, it's too much protection because you did the work. Spirit is not going to allow somebody to sit and eat at your table that didn't do the work. Seven of Wands, they will be blocked. And Spirit said that's the damn truth. And we call it judgment straight down. Your ancestors not playing with this energy? Not at all, not at all, not today, not tomorrow, not next week. All right? I love you guys.